First off, you have to go to the description, open up the Mediafire link, and download Pixel Tools. Once you have that downloaded, you can right-click to extract the zip file, and you should be left with this. Now, you open it up, go to instructions.txt, follow that if you want to skip the whole entire tutorial, and if you're interested in that. But if you just want to follow me, just go here, go to Tools, select, then you press Copy. Then, once you finish that, you go all the way to this PC, uh, go to your C drive, go to Users, go to your name, then go to App Data. It should be hidden, but if you right click, then go to Show More, then press Properties, you should be able to enable Vision to Hidden Files. But once you have that accessed, you open App Data, Local, then you go to Adobe. Then you find Adobe Animate, the one you're using. Then you go to Configuration. Then you go all the way down to Tools, and you paste it here. I have it already pasted, so I already have everything installed. Now, once you finish doing that, you close Adobe Animate if you already have it open and open it back up again so we can refresh. Now with that open, you press these three dots and you should find new tools on the right. Personally, bring in the pencil and the eraser tool. Once you have that there, I suggest you make uh, your character do a little face, so I'm just gonna remove his eyes. Make his mouth a little larger. And now he is good to go. Let me just go here and make his ears do a little thingy. With his arms doing this. There you go. Now once we have Bun Bun doing the face we want, let's zoom in a little bit just for vision purposes. Go to color. I suggest using black. I mean, you're supposed to use black. What am I saying? Okay, and I sug not suggest, and draw your darkness. And I should disable Discord notifications. Do not disturb. There we go. Now I have Bun Bun doing the face I want. You can do whatever you want, like make the darkness do whatever you want. For example, I'm just going to give him a really scary hand. Now, what you're going to do is this. Duplicate the layer three times. I'm going to quickly put everything else in a folder so you can only see the darkness layers. Let's make a new folder. There you go. Okay, everything's inside the folder. So now that you have those darkness layers that we made together, you lock these bottom two. Then we use shift on our keyboard, hold down shift, and zoom in. So it's pretty small, like this. Now that that's the size, we unlock this and lock the one we just changed and do the same thing, but a little bit bigger. Then we do the same thing with the bottom layer, and, but a little bit bigger. So now we have that. I can just press this, I mean lock everything else, right click, then convert to bitmap. Now open the other one, right click convert to bitmap other one right click convert to bitmap now you unlock everything zoom out till everything's back in its place then you zoom out for everything else too 
but remember to hold shift. So now we have all that zoomed out. You're gonna say, this looks horrible! It is so dang blurry! Well, that's how you go to properties, I mean layers, no, library, ah, okay. Select these three by holding shift, select the first one, then shift select the last one. Right click properties, and then I'm going to press allow smoothing so it actually so I can disable it by saying no. Then I go here, PNG. There we go. Now we have that. Now you're going to say, this looks more like the darkness. And I agree. Now, with your new pixel brushes added, I suggest dragging, putting them here. So select your pixel brush, make a new layer, and use white if you want to. Just whatever's more visible to you, because we're not going to keep that color. And raise the, pe uh, the pixel to a decent size to where it looks like this. Yes. Here. Now, you just, you, with your mouse, use picks, you just draw. There we go. We're just going to add a little bit more. And if you want, you can add a bit more in some random places. So now that we have that, we add a layer underneath our white pixel layer. Also, in the pixel brush section, I added an image, which will be our darkness effect, or our darkness texture. This glitch texture was made by Soingers. Check their stuff out, it's pretty cool. So now you can drag it in. I'm not dragging it in, I just copied the image. So give it a bit because the image is pretty large. And now it's here. I suggest zooming out. And bringing it into a place where there's more color besides it being on black. Now that we have that, we right click the top one, then we press mask. There we go. That's pretty neat. But now, if you want it to be pixelated, which I guess you do, you go to properties again, then you press allow smoothing and disable it. Then go to PNG. And there we go.